what we were talking about here is really two very important things. It's food security in poor countries and it's resilience against extremely, uh, increasingly extreme weather um, uh, due to climate change. And both of these issues demand that we take better care of the agricultural land that we have in poor countries, in particular that which is managed by smallholder farmers. Now what we've been doing for 40 years is study the interaction between trees and crop plants on fields in dry areas, in humid areas, in lowlands and in highlands. And we have over 500 scientists working on that and the thousands of papers we have published over the years have led us to a very optimistic conclusion. Yes, we can feed 9 billion people. Yes, we can do so on an increasingly hot planet. Yes, we can do so even though more and more of these people are going to be richer and richer and want to eat more and more animal protein. But we will only be able to do that if we start massively using agroecological principles. I will give you one example. Look at the lands of the Sahel, the Western Sahel, Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, Senegal, etc. You have a band of land there where the population density is as high as it is in Bangladesh. Yet when we see these lands on our television screens, what we see is extremely dry areas. Why? They get about 350 to 500 millimeters of rain per year. But they get it in a month, and after that they have 11 months of sunshine. This kills crop plants. The water disappears. The land is baked hard, so when it rains, the water just runs off. But if you try planting trees or regenerate naturally occurring trees there, you find miraculous things happening. These trees, many of them are nitrogen fixing trees. As they grow, their leaf falls provides fertility to the soil. As these agroforests, as we call them, start to grow, they provide distributed shade, which in the hot season protects your millet, your sorghum, your corn, your cassava, whatever it might be, from the hot sun's ray. And because their roots can go so deep, they can find moisture and bring it to the surface, even in times of extreme drought. Furthermore, because they add organic matter to the soil, they make that soil more able to behave like a sponge and to absorb the water and bring it back. We have areas of Niger where we have 5 million hectares of these kinds of agroforests and where the evidence now is that the water table is rising, the water is coming back, there is more rain, there is more biodiversity and even in drought years in that district, the Zindir district, they export over 10,000 tons of grain to northern Nigeria. In good years, it can be up to 60,000 tons. Now, are these farmers rich farmers? No, they are as poor as all the other farmers, but with one crucial difference. They have trees on their land, and as a result of that, they do not have a hunger season anymore, but on the contrary, they reliably produce a surplus. That is the magic of agroforestry, and that is how we will be able to feed this planet. So what we need to do is not necessarily spend billions more on this, but we need to do two things. First, we need to take the time to see these projects through. And secondly, we need to focus on the only capital that really matters here, which is human capital. We don't need tractors, we don't need expensive irrigation systems, we don't need fertilizers and we don't need pesticides. Yes, all these things are useful, but we don't need them for our system to work. But the one thing that we do need, the one thing without which this will never work, is for the farmers to be educated. Good extension services, whether they are provided by the local government or by a long-term project or by a private sector seed company, it doesn't matter, is the most important thing of all. Without the development of human capital, this will not work. Without the development of human capital, hunger will continue. Without the development of human capital, we will have increasingly serious famines across the world's dry lands, and we simply cannot afford that.